But I try to be a little nicer than that. Talk to the people. Say, hey, shut the fuck up a little bit. I, try to, you know. I can't say the, I'm going to try not to say the F word. Not, and fuck isn't the word, so we're going to try to be better. Lance, don't let me fuck this one up. So maybe if you guys can hit the bleep button every time it slips out. So, babe. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. Some new faces here, man. I like this. So they let you into Canada. Oh, this fucking guy. Yeah, man. Fucking here. It was actually really easy to get in here. Really easy. Yeah. Fucking A. I wanted to ask you about your relationship with Drikas, because if we look at the timeline, he said some stuff at the press conference. You tried to bite him. You DM'd him and said, I'm going to stab you. And then you No, I didn't DM and say, I'm going to stab him. I didn't DM and say, I'm going to stab him. I DM'd him and said, Drikas, Drikas, whatever the fuck his name is, I like you. You're a fucking stand up guy. You fucking, you fight hard, you know? You fucking, yeah. You might be occupying a country, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> They're slowly taking that one back. Sorry, South Africans. But. <laughs> Should I talk about this getting along the woods? No, I just simply said, man, that like, you know, that's a line that you probably, you know, I prefer that we didn't go there. And you guys, I shit on everybody. I mean, I make fun of your gay little pirate earring. I guess I can say gay, right? That's that's different. Is that more is that more on the uh I say it's on the cusp. Basically. The cusp, yeah, yeah. So I can make fun of your gay little pirate ear, but so I go hard, man. I made fun of fucking Sean O'Malley's wife. You know, getting fucked by his buddy. I made fun of fucking the cuck, the cucky and Gary. You know, and like, but the difference is, the difference is, and I was just telling DC this, like, dude, you went on a podcast and you joked about calling a homie to fuck your wife. Like, I didn't go, I didn't go like, you know, I didn't go make fun of anything that you didn't joke about. Like, you made fun of like, you, like, this isn't traumatic for you. You just said, hey, man, I wanted my buddy to fuck my wife. You know, I wanted to throw her some D. And again, I'm not even hating on that. Or like the Cucky and Gary. I didn't go out and say, you know, I didn't go out and say, hey, you're, you're, I, I didn't, I'm Googled. I did, I made up the definition of wag, you're a wag. You went out there and you put your wife front and fucking center. You put her front and fucking center. You made her design a shirt. You made her fucking hold the baby while you wear it, laugh it. You put her front and center. You are a fucking cuck, you know? So it's like, I go hard on everybody. Sometimes some shit gets on me. I'm fully aware of that, but it is what it is, man. So do you think this like uh, this new sort of angle that people are using against you is, oh, he can give it, he can't take it. Do you think that's fair or do you think it's inaccurate? Here's the thing, guys. I don't need to be fucking right. The people, fuck the people. If if one day I wake up and like, you know, like the cucky and Gary, everybody hates me, you think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck if I walk down the street and someone says, oh, yeah, there's there's Sean Strickland. Fuck him. I don't care. Enjoy, motherfucker. You better just do it far enough away because I'll hit you. I'm not fucking Colby Covington, bro. I'm not like, you know, I'm fucking. Yeah, I'm not Chris Curtis. I'm not going to delete my fucking Twitter. Like, you know, enjoy, man. You want to go call me a fucking, you know, whatever you want. Enjoy. Have at it. Just do it online. When we look at Drikas as a fighter, right, he's been described as awkward as a view sometimes, but he's clearly a strong physical guy in there. When you look at him and you look at it as a, from a fighting perspective, where is he going to cause you the most problems? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's going to be a harder fight than Izzy. You know, fucking to Izzy, it's going to be like, the thing about the thing about Drikas is, dude, he just likes to fight. You know, it's like, is he the best? Nah, probably not. But like, he goes in there and he just fucking fights to win you know that's a hard fight man i've trained with a lot of guys i'm way better than and they just mentally want to be there and that makes it a tough fucking fight but i'm better than him i'm better grappler i'm better fucking jujitsu i mean your 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 accolades are what is his accolades he fucking beat a dead horse Derek brunson i mean it's even in the ufc yeah i mean they fucking cut him after that it was that performance was so fucking terrible like Derek brunson fucking uh, yeah like, i think he might have died on the fucking stool dude like we need to bring back TRT, man. Thank God you saw this fucking gone. Yeah, maybe we could bring back Derek Brunson. But like, I mean, come on now. And then you go fight Whitaker. And Whitaker was a great fight, but it's like, I mean, was that the Whitaker we've ever seen? He like Whitaker fucking quit, you know? Or maybe he's just that fucking good. But I, I just think he fought two dead horses. Put him out the pasture. Last one for me. You know, you kind of made it clear that you know, you're happy with the money, but you're not necessarily like, oh, I'm the champion of the world and you take value in that. What do you want your title reign to look like, right? You can fight the next guy, the next guy, or you have people like Ian Gary saying he's going to come up and fight you or Colby wants to fight you. So would you try and pick these money fights or do you want to just 
make yourself known as the champion who fought everyone. Dude, I don't give a fuck about this belt. Like, this is the fucking Matrix, man. You guys understand, like, I like you guys. You guys are all good fucking people. But, you know, like, what? I lose this fight. I go back to the fucking Apex. And we, we do our little song and dance for a couple more years. And I vanish. Like, this is all fucking bullshit. I love the UFC. You know, they give me lots of money. I'm happy. But, like, this is fucking. We all know what I am. We all know what we are. Drakus might wear a suit and he might say that I'm the champion. I'm self, but you are a fucking whore. You take your fucking clothes off. Somebody says, I'm going to give you this much money to try to kill a man. And I don't know. How do I forget that? Do I just make believe? Do I just pretend I'm fucking like a LeBron James flying around in a private jet? No, motherfucker. No, that ain't, that ain't gonna happen. What you think? If I if I re, you think I can retire now? You think I got enough money to retire now? I'm a fucking champion of the world. You think I have enough money to retire now? Fuck no! I'm gonna be working my ass a job if I were to leave. Champ of the world it means jack shit. So as far as a belt goes, fucking favorite quote: "They'll fight for ten in a ribbon, giving ten in a ribbon." We're just a bunch of fucking assholes trying to get a check. Sean, Sean, uh, right Neil, well, Dape, sorry, Neil Dape, you go ahead, Ben. Uh, yeah, um. In Australia, uh, before you're on the fight, you know, you kind of ran into some fans and kind of, you know, you joked around. Oh, yeah. Did you have any run-ins with fans here? No, nah, man. I mean, it's so fucking cold here, you guys. I mean, how do you – there's a homeless tent outside. How the fuck are you homeless here? I almost want to ask. Like, I want to get to know the homeless. Like, how do you live in this fucking cold? But, no, nah, man, we're Canadians. I think they're I think they're bigger pussies in Canada. I mean, come on now, you guys. Like, fucking you – know, they gave us hockey and they're not even good at it. <laughs> Like, come on, dude. It's like, I like the, uh, you get fucking, you got some new jewelry, man. It looks good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damon Martin did an interview with a bunch of your former training partners and current training partners and coaches this week. And all of them had kind of glowing reviews of just training with you. Like Sam Alvey saying you're one of his favorite training partners. Brad Tavares said, you know, just spoke glowingly of you. So do you think you're kind of misunderstood in the eyes of fans? Because the people that you train with every day only have positive things to say about you. Here's the thing, dude. This is like the fucking Trump style media. I've never been a fan that doesn't like me. Generally, I meet people and we have great interactions and we ask for photos, but it's like you fucking cucks, you know, no offense, you guys. I'm sure not of you guys are. I'm sure not a lot of you guys are fucking cucks. There's some cucks out there. But, you know, you go and like you do these fucking headlines that, oh, Sean, Sean made fun of this. Sean made fun of that. Like you guys are like. But that's how you get your views, you guys. You don't get your views reporting on good shit, you know? You guys are the fucking, as they would say, drain the swamp. Like, you guys are, but that's how you get your clickbait. You just can't be like, hey, Sean had a good day. He met so-and-so. You got to be like, hey, Sean says something racist. He made fun of his co-main event. Like, that's how you guys get your views, man. So just fucking, your world is not the real world. You know what I'm saying? Sean right here. Just to follow up on that, to your right. Oh, right, my Last time we saw you. That's a quite the beard, man. That is quite the beard. It is. It migrated from my head. I can't <laughs> yeah, that's good, dude. Last time I saw you, last time we saw you in Canada was in Moncton in 2018. And yeah. the Sean Strickland of 2018 was a very different person. The answers to the press were yes, sir, no, sir. And at some point you kind of, well, actually, I, I want you to tell us, did you find yourself? Did you become more comfortable? Was there a re realization that I got to start saying more to, to get the attention? You know, man, a lot of it was, a lot of it was like where I came from. So I came from being a white trash, shaved head, kicked out of school for a fucking hate crime. I came from being like such a piece of shit. So it's like whenever I got in front of a camera, you you look at your peers. You look at the guys at the time who were the champs, you know, and they carried themselves so well and they wore fucking suits where you're like, man, I want to I want to have money. I want to distance myself from who I was. So I really tried to fit that fucking image and. I fucking hated it, man. Every time I wore a fucking suit, I felt like a cunt. Like, I just felt like, you know, I felt like I didn't belong. I didn't feel like I didn't fit. And I fucking tried. I thought I'd make more money that way, but it fucking apparently not. And then after my motorcycle accident, uh, fucking, I'm, I'm still missing shit on my leg. They pretty much, you know, I was just going to come back. I had like two more fights left on my contract. I was going to come back and a check and just fucking go be a welder or some shit, but... It just fucking worked out, man. It was just, it's just, honestly, it's way more, it's way more freeing not to have to like try to fit the mold of a fucking superstar. You know, it's like, it's way fucking better, way fucking better. Uh, in terms of Dreykus, we've heard a lot about him getting his nose fixed and how his cardio is better. We didn't get to see a full three rounds with Rob, but what is, what's your thoughts on his cardio? Can he hang in there with you for five rounds? 
Yeah, I'm sure he can, man. I mean, it's fucking getting his nose fucking fat. I didn't know his nose was broken, but fucking, hey, apparently. Um, fuck, dude. Yeah, man. Like, we'll find out. We'll find out. You know, I think, uh, I think mentally I'm prepared to fucking die in there as always. Always, that's my mindset. You know, and I never really game plan. It's just going in there and fucking do work. So here we are. Last one for me. UFC 300 is right around the corner. If they came to you after this and said, hey, Sean, can you make that turn around? Izzy wants to run it back. Is that something you would do? Yeah, oh, fuck, man. As of all things, how much money you paid me? As of now, no. But how much money you paid me? <laughs> Thanks. Sean uh, Neil Davidson from the Canadian Press. Welcome mm. to Canada. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, <laughs> fucking the Canadian Press, man. Were you a uh, were you a, uh, a COVID bank account stealer too? Were you on board with that? No. I, uh, Are you left wing or right wing? Were you a tr- were you a Trudeau? We got one of the, we got one of the fucking commies with the press. We got to know where this man stands. Were you non biased? I think I'll ask the questions here. Oh, he thinks he'll ask. Oh, we fucking know. Maybe I should just pass on this motherfucker. He's going to go back. He's going to go back and fucking give my bank account information to fucking Trudeau. <laughs> well, it's probably a good bank account. Uh, uh, I wanted to ask you about really. what life has been like as a champion. I'm sure there have been a lot of pluses, but maybe a few minuses. You're, you're in the public eye now. What, what has it been like in the short time since you've had the belt? Oh, man. Ah, uh, fucking guys, nothing changes, man. You go to Walmart, you get recognized more, but like, you know, my bank account's a little bigger. I mean, it's a little bigger. It's not much bigger. It was a little bigger. I'm not going to fucking retire after this one, win or lose, you know? <laughs> I'm not going to go lay in a fucking bathtub with flower petals, but I don't know, man. It's like, do you guys think that you get a belt and like everything changes? Like, what do you think happens? Like, I get a belt and everything, like, all of a sudden, like, my dick's made of gold. Like, what do you guys think happens? I get like, what do you think? You know, nothing changes. I'm still the same asshole. I just have this metal. I don't, I'm sure it's not even gold. I just have a fucking metal gold plated belt in front of me. <laughs> hey, Sean, over here. Um, I saw you train with Johnny Eblen. Oh, you're fight. the Canadian. That's right. Yeah. You're not a dirty liberal, though. I've known you for a while. You don't ruin our friendship. Are you a fucking liberal? I'm not a liberal. Man. Okay. I didn't vote for Trudeau. Um, Johnny Eblen, uh, what was it like in a train with Wait, you say you're a liberal for Trudeau? No, no, no. I said I was. I, I did not vote for Trudeau. Oh, there we go. This guy's the fucking man. This not the guy. This guy's for the fucking opposition, man. Who gave this guy a fucking press badge? <laughs> Johnny Eblen, though. What was it like in a train with him? Oh, Johnny's a man, dude. Johnny's a fucking man, dude. He's a... Uh, he fucking world champion, you know, I think as him being in Bellator, he doesn't get the respect he deserves, you know, because it's fucking Bellator. But now he's going to PFL. I, yeah, he's a fucking he's a fucking savage, bro. Yeah, he, I was um, I was just going to ask, like getting to train with him. Did he come and help you for this fight or he just came through and you got to train with him? No. So me and him, we've known each other for years. Uh, we've known each other for years. We've been training together for years. Every time I'm in town, I train with him. He's in town. He trains with me. So it's like. I think it just kind of happened to be that way, but yeah, it was fucking good, man. He, he's a fucking savage, you know. A lot, a lot of Bellator guys and PFL guys, they don't get the respect they deserve, but he's a fucking savage. And just looking ahead here, you referenced Ian Gary earlier. It seems like he does want to move up and fight you at some point. Do you want to fight him, or is that something you're not even worried about? Ah, oh, fuck, dude. This is what the UFC, the fucker. I mean, it, here's the thing, man. I think rankings should matter. You know, for like in the, the cuck. Does he really want to fight me? He said it in an interview. He says he wants to move up and fight oh. you in a couple of fights. Oh, what a fucking cunt. What a cunt. Like, like God, Ian Gary is such a fucking cunt. Dude. When you guys interview him, like, do you like, do you ever ask him like, hey, like, you know, like, do you ever ask him like, what are you going to do when she's 60 and you're 40? And like, you know, do you hear a lot of fuck other women? Like, like, what are you like? What a fucking God. I hate that fucking guy. I hate that fucking guy so much. So is that a no or? <laughs> If Ian Gary is right in front of me, I'd fucking fight him. Ian Gary is a fucking, he's a piece of shit, you guys. Like, I think we could all agree that Ian Gary is a piece of shit. You know, can I get a raise of hands? Everybody's raising their hands. Congratulations. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys. But I mean, he's a fucking, he's a piece of shit. Like, what do you think about, what do you think about him making fun of a, what do you think as a Canadian, as a. I don't think he should lock his account when he's, you know going after jeff neal and neil Mann. yeah that's fucked up man you know i mean after i did that i posted my mug shot you know <laughs> fucking it's funny I, my my charges are way more serious than fucking g off nils g whatever it's jeff neal g off not a fucking guys i dropped it's out of jeff fucking, neal, I, think. I dropped out of fucking home which i actually like that guy I, and i uh i actually messaged him before i was like hey man can i post a picture of your mug shot it's funny and he was like yeah no worries but uh i'm gonna post mine next to it <laughs> 
But yeah, no, nah, Ian Gary, he's just a fucking, he's a weak man. He's a fucking weak man. And this is what I try to tell people, man. You meet these fucking cunts all day long and they smile and they shake your fucking hand and they smile, but really like their, their, their core is fucking rotten. And like, you look at me and I'm an asshole. I'm making fun of this liberal fuck, you know, like <laughs> no offense, man. I mean, you know, we, we all, we, I guess we need fucking liberals, you know, i um, kind of, maybe, maybe not. But you look at me and I say hard shit. Like I make fun of my co-main event. I say hard shit. I'm like, oh, Sean, I'm not an asshole. I'm fucking, I say everything. I'm just saying what you're thinking. Ian Gary is a fucking cunt and he hides who he is. And not looking past Saturday, do you have a preference of who, you know, if all goes well, you get the win. Do you have a preference of Chimaev or would you want that fight back with Cannon here? <sighs> well, it's kind of hard, man. I'd prefer somebody new. Uh, Chimaev, I mean, Rankings fucking matter, dude. Like, why, like who is, is Chimaev ever fought an 85er? Yeah, but who is he? I mean, he fought, he had not a ranked 85 or then he fought fucking, uh, he took, uh, Usman off the couch for a fucking week. Like, come on, dude. Like, stop the fucking bullshit, UFC. Like, go back to being a real fucking sporting event. Go back to fucking rankings. I don't give a fuck. I, again, I don't give a fuck who it is. Make the, make the stack of money bigger. I'll fucking fight you, you know? Yeah. Uh, Sean, we were talking before about how you have so much respect from your teammates, from peers. You said you've had great interactions with fans pretty much all the time. Um, I did want to ask, you know, you're in Toronto. Welcome. I'm glad to hear it. it's been great. Are you Canadian? Uh, of course I am. Are you part of the fucking opposition? Are uh, you? Uh, I don't know how to phrase that. You? I mean, you got to like fucking. Uh, yeah. Well, I did want to ask. You did know, you vote for Trudeau? Uh, you know, I'm not going to say. And, and let me tell you something right now. If a man says he's not going to say, like, if you ask a motherfucker, did you vote for Biden? He's like, well, I'm not going to say that's none of your business. He voted for fucking Biden. Sean, so, I, hey, Sean, I'm glad you've had great experiences. So this is are, this is what I'm talking about, you guys. The enemy, the enemy of Canada. Sure. Sure, All right. That's what it's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah. Uh, we've got a pretty supportive gay and lesbian yeah. community in this city. I did want to ask you about something you wrote a couple of years ago. You said, if I had a gay son, I would think I should. Oh, look, another, another, yes. this, I'm yes. saying to you, the swamp, you guys, the swamp. You become a champion, you become a star, and, and someone says, let me you ask you model. something. Are you, have, are you, have, are, you have are, chance, you are you gay? Are, no, are, are, are you, battle. let me know, are, are you gay? Can I, hear, can I get an answer? Well, no, I'm asking, I'm, this is a part of the, are you, are you a gay man? I'm an ally of the community. Okay. If you had a son and he was like, you know, you had a son, he was gay. You'd be like, oh man, you don't, you don't want a grandkid. No problem with it. Oh man. Well, you dude, you're a weak fucking man, dude. You're like, you're part of the fucking problem. You elected Justin Trudeau. Like what you fucking, when he sees the bank accounts, like you're just fucking pathetic. And, and the fact that the fact that you have no fucking backbone and, and has he shut down your fucking country and seized bank accounts? You ask me some stupid shit like that? Go fuck yourself. Move the fuck on, man. Like that doesn't really coward. answer the question, but I did want to ask also things you said about the trans community. You said uh, this past October when they announced the Bud Light sponsorship that you'd go so hard on Bud Light in your next fight, they'll have to accept me or denounce me when uh, when they know what and they'll, we'll know what they stand for. Are you this guy's like, that, this Canadian's not that Canadian. Are you still going to use your fight time to kind of speak on that? Here's the thing about Bud Light. Here's the thing about Bud Light. Ten years ago, to be trans was a, what, a mental fucking illness. And now all of a sudden, people like you have fucking weaseled your way in the world. You are, you are an infection. You are the definition of weakness. Everything that is wrong with the world is because of fucking you. And the best thing is, is the world's not buying it. The world's not buying your fucking bullshit you're fucking peddling. The world is not saying, you know what? You're right. Fucking chicks have dicks. The world's not saying that. The world's saying, no, there are two genders. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, who they could fuck in school. I don't want my kids being taught about, you know, their sexual preference. Like, dude, this guy is the fucking enemy. Uh, you want to look at the fucking enemy to our world? It's that motherfucker right there asking these stupid fucking questions. Sorry, I'm, I, I told the UFC I was being nicer. Lance, Lance am I... Am I still good with this? Am I, did I cross any lines? A little, what the fuck? I didn't say the F word. You just brought this fucking guy in here to piss me off. You, you just did, but uh, just to follow up, I mean, Rick. Wait, did I, wait, did I say the, did I say it? You just did. No, I didn't say it. Right, right there you did. Different oh, F word, different word. Yeah. I'm trying to be good, man. I'm trying to be good. I do, I like the fucking gays. Here's thing, I've never, you, you guys think I've ever shit on a gay man or shit on a gay one? I don't fucking, I like the gays. It's, it's a, it's, it's fucking freedom. We still have it in America. We'll teach you about it. You guys don't have fucking freedom of speech. I'm surprised what I'm saying is probably going to get fucking, I'm probably going to get the fucking uh, Canadian government to arrest me. So I don't give a fuck who you fuck. I don't give a fuck what you want to do in life. But 
But don't fucking tell kids about it. Don't teach that shit in fucking school. Don't don't fucking push your agenda. Don't try to fucking brainwash people. Don't try to go past parents. Don't try to go up past all this shit and brainwash people, you fucking cuck. So to, to, to follow up, Raquel was in here earlier. She did pick against you, but you don't have any issue sharing card with Raquel Pennington? No, I mean, I don't give a fuck, dude. I mean, I kind of... Here's the thing, guys. WNBA. Let's just be honest. I'm not going to be offensive when I say this. WNBA, NBA. Do you what? Who watches what? Who makes more money? Women's MMA, sure. Have women's MMA. Have it a fucking thing. I don't like to watch it. I don't think most people like to watch it. If the if the if the if the females MMA were to separate from a male MMA, no one's gonna watch this shit. No one wants to watch this shit. Just what it is what it is, man. I don't fucking know what to tell you, dude. Fucking, it is what it is. Like, why is that a bad... Like, again, do you want to watch a fucking sports car race a fucking Honda Civic? No, you want to watch a fucking sports car. There is a vast difference between men and women. Like, you take... even You even take this weak little fucking Canadian sitting next to you. He could probably beat up fucking Ra- Raquel Pennington. Like, at the fact of the matter is, like, any one of you fucks could probably beat our co-main event in a fight. And now I'm not saying you can't sit there and fucking enjoy it, but like I want to, I don't want to go see fucking two fucking little cats fight. I want to see lions fight. But here we are. I fucking I'm sure they're great fighters, and you know, fucking let's go. Last Lance, one. is that good? Is that good? Last That's one. good though, right? I didn't say anything too offensive, did I? No, what? no, motherfucker. I mean, good. I'm being, he's my handler, you guys. I'm being fucking good. Last one. When Ian Gary says, uh, you know, you need therapy. Do you agree with that at all? Or is fighting your therapy? Like where, where is your mind at on that kind of stuff? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not one of those, you know, don't do therapy kind of guys. Like I think fucking, you know, some fucked up shit happens to people and you should do fucking therapy, but. I don't fucking need that. I know who I am. I know what I say. I'm aware of what I say. Like, I think I'm the sanest motherfucker in this room, you know? I mean, especially with this fucking guy in here. But, but no, nah, man, I, I'm i solid, dude. I'm fucking solid. Yeah, I did cry on Theo Vaughn's podcast. That was a little awkward. But, you know, fucking, you know, we all have weak moments in life. That was just one of them. Speaking of, I guess, that a little bit, uh, your coach, Eric Nixick, said after the press conference, he described you as a little bit triggered and he had to like talk you down and talk about not fighting emotionally and stuff. Oh, no, I mean, he, he sent me a message saying that, but I'm like, dude, I'm good, man. Like, you know, I think that people see that and they see me, you know, fight a man. They think like, and they think that's like a, you know, I like to fight. That's like, that's the only thing in life that is fucking that I like to do. So it's like, there's no emotions. It's just go in there and do work. All right, guys, I think they're kicking us off. Any more questions? Yeah, just two more. Um, they just posted the most recent episode of UFC embedded and mm-hmm. it showed a little exchange with you and Drickus in the lobby. It seems like you guys are fairly. Yeah. Friendly. What's your thoughts on him? Like right now on fight week, after all these interactions, three days away, I uh, man, it's not like you don't go in there. Like even when I fought fucking Izzy, you don't go in there. Like, I don't, you think I'm laying in bed at night, fucking beating off my dick. I'm going to fucking fight you. I'm going to fight you. No, that's not, that's not what it is. Dude. This is my fucking job. My job is to fight you for five rounds to try to put you away. And that's all it is. And that's the Dreykus. We don't go in there angry. Like we're at this fucking level. You guys, you think a NASCAR racer is fucking driving the circle. Like I'm going to fucking drive hard in the circle. Like, no, you just, you just detach and you do fucking work. And last thing, Australia last time, Canada this time. Where, yeah, no, where fuck, are they going to send you next? Fuck, you at least maybe a, maybe a country with fucking freedom of speech. I don't want to talk to this fucking guy. So where? What's, what's your fucking America, what's Vegas, America? bro. Like anywhere in America. Fucking A. I mean, I, get, I, I like, <clears throat> here's the thing about Canadians, guys. I love Canadians. I've never met a Canadian that I didn't like until today. You know, I've never, every time I meet a Canadian, they love guns. They love fucking freedom. They like women. And I keep thinking, how come all these Canadians I know, how is Canadian Canada so fucked up when all these Canadians I meet are awesome? And I meet this fucking guy. And I just think there might be a lot more of these guys I don't know about. <laughs> we'll see how the rest of your week goes. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, but anyways, better today, you guys. We're, we're doing good things. We're growing as a person. I guess maybe the bell's rubbing off on me. I'm going to get a big sponsorships.